What's going on guys, it's Pixelated and man, a lot of unexpected things have been happening this year. So many seriously wrong and strange situations, from the COVID pandemic to racism at all time highs. 2020 has gotten more and more unbelievable with every passing day. But on a lighter note, we've got some strange things going on in our own sneaker community too. And one of those stranger things is this damn fog sneaker right here. The Fog Essentials X Converse Skid Grip High. This sneaker is the latest offering from Jerry Lorenzo's Fear of God subsidiary line, also known as the Essentials line. As the name implies, you can expect to get a lot of basic essentials from this line of clothing. From season to season, we get plain one tone or one color tees, hoodies, sweatpants, a few other basic essential clothing articles for price points that are much more affordable than what Fear of God's main line offers. But when it comes to basic essentials, this sneaker is the black sheep of the essentials line because it clearly does not fit at all. The Fog Essentials X Converse Skid Grip High retailed for 120 US dollars and 150 Canadian dollars here in Canada. There are certain places where you can probably still find sizes like I checked on Paxon.com and they still had sizes within the size 7 to 13 range. However, if you're not in the States, I've left a link in the description where you can get your size guaranteed. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Now I say this sneaker is strange and it kind of doesn't make sense. And I say this because it clearly doesn't fit in with the main offerings of the Fog Essentials line. When your entire clothing line is characterized for being basic essentials, it's a straight curveball to the face when you get a sneaker this messy and not in line with the basic essentials. And Jerry Lorenzo's previous Converse collabs have always been one or two tones, keeping to the same basic essential philosophy. But why then is this pair so different? Well the truth is, this is a silhouette that was brought back from the dead, debuted in 1910 as boat shoes with a completely different and more boring name. Jerry Lorenzo supposedly saw these back in the 1980s in a store and remembers loving them a lot. He said when he saw them at the time, the sneaker would always sport bold colors and patterns. So this crazy pattern that does sort of give you an 80s vibe with all of its colors and patterns is a direct inspiration from that. It's also meant to breathe life into the revival of this retro silhouette. And I don't know about you, but this bold take is really what caught my eye and is probably the only reason I'm giving attention to this new but retro silhouette. But before we get any deeper into it, let's quickly go over the materials. The Fog Essentials X Converse Skid Grip is made of a handful of materials and that's a great thing because you don't really need much to be great, just drive, dedication, and discipline. Pixelated motivational book coming soon. No seriously though, the upper of this shoe is made entirely of canvas, we've got stitching separating the toe box panel from the rest of the upper but really it's all just the same. The entire thing is adorned with this wacky 80s style print and multicolored palette. The tongue is thin and made of canvas as well, essentially the same as a Chuck High tongue with Converse branding on the right shoe and Essentials branding on the left shoe. The shoe comes with nice thick white rope laces and a pair of sail flat laces. As you can see in the on foot, I've decided to try a unique type of lacing on one shoe with both laces, one wrapping around the entire ankle which you typically see on the Converse Essentials collabs, while the other is the traditional front lace. The other shoe is styled more traditionally with just one lace but the pant leg goes over so you get an idea of two different ways to style this shoe. We have this small heel pull on the back of the shoe that's really easy to miss. I actually used it to loop the second lace around through it and I think it'll be used more for that than to pull the shoe up anyway. Where the shoe deviates the most is the ankle opening where it actually has this padding covered in black fabric. It's a little separated from the upper of the canvas, not sure what the reason is but this thing really is a game changer giving the skid grip an edge up on being more comfortable than the Chuck 70 High. Finally, we have this nice sleek midsole in white that has almost the perfect amount of thickness and sleekness with the Fog Essentials label embossed in the back and a dark blue outsole with Converse branding. When it comes to sizing, I made the ignorant decision to get these in my Chuck 70 size which is a full size down from my true to size. I'm a true to size size 10 and I always get a size 9 in Chuck 70s so I got a size 9 in these skid grips. And surprisingly, they do fit but it is a snug fit and I'm wearing thin socks here. I'm sure I'd be in actual pain if I wore regular socks. So my recommendation is to go a half size down instead of a full size down. If I wasn't in such a rush to check these out, I probably would have got a size 9.5 after having a moment to think about it. Based on how these fit, I can tell you a size 9.5 would have been a perfect fit for me. These fit almost the same as a Chuck 70 but with a slightly narrower toe box and padding in the opening of the shoe. So go a half a size down instead of a full size down from your true to size and you should be good to go. For example, if you're a size 10 like me, go for a 9.5. When it comes to comfort, if you normally wear Chuck 70s, then you kind of have a good idea what to expect here. There's nothing new by the way of comfort. You get the extra padding in the heel, which is a significant improvement over a pair of Chuck 70s. But aside from that, the thick midsole and the lack of cushioning tech will keep these shoes to casual stylish sneakers. 
and not much more. Do not attempt extreme sports in these. Overall, the Fog Essential Skid Grip is a remarkable intro and revival of a retro silhouette. Although it doesn't make sense in the Essentials line, I'm glad they went with the 80s style print and color palette because it keeps the shoe fresh and it doesn't feel like just another Essentials Converse collab, which, let's be honest, look kind of plain. The silhouette itself is something that I really like. The colorway is cool, but it's not for me. It might be for you though, and if that is the case, I've left a link in the description where you can get your size at a good price. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Did Jerry Lorenzo bring justice to the skid grip, or do you think Converse and Jerry could have done better? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more future content, and hit the noti bell so you can join noti gang and so you don't miss out on future content. Catch you in the next one. Pixelated is gripping on the skids.